In this video, I'll show you how to create a consistent AI influencer or character that you can use on social media or wherever to create influencer pages on Instagram, etc. This is 100% free, easy to do, and the consistency is insane. Let's get started. So this is the Adflow homepage, as you can see, there are a lot of characters and they are consistent. You can see this is the same character, this girl is the same person in every photo and this guy as well. Now we are going to create the consistent character, two consistent characters with this. So first you have to sign up. So once you're signed in, you want to and there are a few do you have image studio video studio and story studio we'll go over this in a, in a few minutes but let's first of all try the character builder all you can click on create to create a new character you describe your character you have to have a base image normally you're supposed to have 20 variations of that image but i'll show you how you can do it with the same image with just one image so you choose a face you can go over and select the face from the ones they already have and create the consistent character from that but we're going to train our own model so we're just going to click on create your ai actor and please always select the gender because it's really important i missed the gender and i actually selected a male but it's supposed to be a female but still it doesn't matter you can still create the female characters even if you selected male but just that's something to keep in mind so um i'm just going to upload this character as you can see i had to copy the same image of the character i want to generate and i copied it 20 times on the same folder so the system actually thinks it's a different character but it's actually the same photo i copied 20 times that's how you can get it to train your model so while that's loading we're just going to come over here to use one of their already trained model to create the new one so we're just going to going to come over to consistent face and select an actor for this while that's loading we're just going to select kim because i think she's pretty and goes with the kind of image i want to generate so i'm going to select kim and you're just going to type in what you want kim to do so that's the same base um the same procedure with once you've uploaded and trained your character or your model it's the same way so i'm just going to type in what i want kim to do or what i want kim to look like once you're done you're going to click on generate you get 100 free credits and each credit one credit could generate you four images as you can see so for each credit you get um charged one for each um, credit you get four images as you can see these characters are the same person it is amazing how easy this is this is like insane most of the um, methods you have to use to get and to get consistent characters is like really really tricky it's like quite tricky and this is this art flow has made it really simple and easy for you to generate consistent characters in different poses it is amazing this this tool is like i i have i'm short of words to explain how amazing i think this tool is as you can see it is the same character the same face and this like it's the same actual character with different hair and different positions and different postures now you can select between their plans if you want to upload um, a different character as you get you can only train one model for the free plan so you have to use it wisely as you can see the character is like really consistent it's the same person in a different scene a different posture a different pose pose now you can actually make a variant of this by clicking on make variants and if you don't want to use that same image you can actually upload your own image by just dragging and dropping an image from your gallery and you can also animate by clicking on animate you can animate them whatever generation you generated and it's going to take you to the video studio that's where your animations are and there are a lot to do here in this studio you can actually make your character to talk you can say upload a voice over or generate an audio with your own um, text to um, speech 
simulator or text to speech um, tool. We're just going to skip this and we're just going to go over to the other features of the platform. Go over to the current character builder. As you can see, um, it hasn't uploaded the character yet. It's taking a while, so we're just going to I'm just going to wait it out. It says it's going to take one to two hours. I'm just going to go over and show you what other tools are available here. So if you go over to Image Studio, you can. So I'm still just going to stick with Kim and generate some more images of Kim, just to show you how consistent the tool is. As you can see, this is the same character. There is, without the shadow of a doubt, you can tell this is the same person. There is no um, weird artifacts in her face that make you, make you feel, oh, this is, he tried. Most of these other processes that are actually really hard, you don't get the character as consistent as this. This is like the best right now when it comes to consistency or characters. This is like the best. It is actually spots on with the face and it is amazing you can select whatever hair you want you can do whatever you want so now this is um the yeah, story studio you can actually generate stories you just have to put in the prompts and the platform will actually generate an actual story from the script to the video everything the storyline it's going to generate everything from you with the audio the voiceover and everything this platform has everything you need for when it comes to um visuals so you just click on new story and you go help me and you're going to type in your audience i'm just going to put an adult looking for ways to make money with AI. What's the purpose of your story? You're going to type in what the purpose of your story is. So it gets, it has a lot of context or more context to understand you. What genre should the story be? I'm just going to put sci-fi. And now it said, what, are, what is the idea you would like the story to be Arab about? Now you just have to put a topic. So I'm writing a story of how AI takes the jobs of half the entire world working population. So as you can see, it is generated the script and it is giving suggested an artist to like narrate the voiceover if you don't like it you can click on try again to generate a new script so you're just going to click create anyway and choose your format i want it to be horizontal or you can do vertical as well i want it to be horizontal so i'm going to select horizontal and i'm going to select a style which is sci-fi it's going to load takes a while Once that's done, it's going to start generating the storyboard or the images for each um, sentence, I guess. And this actually takes about, I think, 35 or 45 credits to generate a two or three minute story. So keep that in mind when you're generating so you don't use up all your um, credits. It's going to take a while to generate. After generating the story, what is going to generate the voiceover and everything? In a world where AI has become an integral part of daily life, Alex grapples with the challenge of finding a way to make money with AI. Alex's AI assistant inadvertently stumbles upon a game changing algorithm that has the potential to automate and replace countless jobs worldwide. Unbeknownst to Alex, his accidental action triggers a chain of events that will disrupt the global job market, causing unemployment on an unprecedented scale. As the job losses become apparent, the public's frustration and anger spill over into the streets, leading to protests, riots, and chaos. 
Alex's name becomes synonymous with the devastation caused by the algorithm as his reputation takes a... You know, our character is a loaded boy. It's loaded our character as a male, which is my error. I made a mistake, but you can still generate a female character, consistent character with this image, even if you messed up the um, gender. So let's see how, what we're going to get when I generate. So I'm just going to click on any of this. So I get the better prompt and I'm going to come over to the prompt section and I'm going to type in um you have to add in the gender once you if you made this kind of mistake like i did so you have to add in the gender so i'm going to type in dynamic portrait of the girl emilia because that's the name of the character they're going to ask you to put um the name of a character once once you're creating a, a model so you have to put in the name so I'm, whenever you want to generate that character you have to put in the name so i added girl emilia and you can see it's going to generate the female version of the character even if the character um, gender was male but the image i actually used is a female as you can see this is the character it is the, the exact character with the image that i decided to train and this is the image here that i decided to train side by side you can see this is the same character and it is amazing how this is just so easy to generate the consistent character without actually doing so much like using an uh, automatic 11 11 or stable diffusion this is amazing you can see how consistent the character is the, it, it is mind-blowing mind-boggling you can actually use the director mode and choose the pose or the direction you want your character to face or the angle you want your character to be in by using this director mode i'm just going to click on this uh, mid shot and select for the character to be on this side my internet is bad that's why the image is isn't loading so once we click on um, generate you can see you see it's going to generate the character at the left um, corner of the screen As you can see, the characters generated are at the left corner of the screen. And you can see it's the same character with the short hair. Look at it side by side with the original input image. This is an amazing. This is an, like, an amazing tool. You can play with this tool right now and it's free, totally free to use. I'll leave a link in the description so you can go and play with this tool. And like and subscribe if you find this tutorial useful. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.